the difference between um, my individuality in, in the earlier years, uh, comparative to how I am now, the difference was competition. The difference was an interest in, um, in achieving greater height in the music business, more um, opportunities to interact with the highest form of recording, with Columbia Records, with Prestige Records, with Blue Note Records, with Warner Brothers. So in the past, I was more influenced by the industrial nature of music and the competitive society in the United States. It's extremely competitive there. Management, booking, uh, the, the night, the jazz clubs, the concert uh, format. After the operations, I was left with uh, nothing. And, and that caused the necessity for a long period of um, renewal through, through uh, therapy and through recovery. In that period of time, the first stages of it were extremely uh, difficult, extremely depressive. And what that depression caused was um, a constriction, a, an absorption into isolation. And I would think that that is the very place where many individuals are subject to the consideration of suicide, which I was at that time as well. What saved me from that was the guitar. When I picked up the guitar, it, I picked it up as a place to hide within. And I did so in the very way I did as, as a little boy, I would take it, as a child, who had no interest in, in the uh, intentions of the majority of adults that surrounded me. So the guitar became my closest friend as a child. This time, in terms of recovery, it once again became my closest friend. And it began to unfold with one difference. I had no interest, and I still have no interest in competitive participation. Memory is very difficult for me at this, at this stage because of um, a brain operation that removed 60% of one side of my brain. So it's very difficult to recall anything beyond the date that that surgery, the neurosurgery took place. So to answer your question about childhood, I was definitely surrounded by music from Italy, uh, the Tarantella, many things in the family, you know, many songs. I don't remember the titles, but you must understand my father came from Palermo and my mother came from Calabria. And the families on both sides were large in number, large in number. And the, and the holidays, the holidays were very Italian. The food was very Italian. The enjoyment was very Italian. And I think that my roots as an artist in many ways stemmed from such sensitivity. I have no past and I have no future. The only thing of importance to me is here and now. Um, as far as the future, it's an extension of what's done in the moment. So therefore, I don't take it serious because it takes my attention off of what my responsibilities are at the moment. The past, to me, is very similar to a catalog of photographs that the family keeps for remembrance. And since I'm very nomadic from the very beginning as a, as a youngster, I was never really that close to the family. My, the family mainly lived 
in Philadelphia, with the, with the um, exception of Uncle Benny on my mother's side, lived in, in Napoli. And his daughter, his young daughter, who was one of my favorite cousins, uh, Gina, moved later on in life and she married a physician in Napoli. But family-wise, uh, I've always been on the move since the age of 15. And I think because of that, it was very difficult to remain in one place. And therefore, I do enjoy the photographs, but they don't mean as much to me as they would have if I participated more. Many of them, I don't know why they were taken, where they were taken, and what was really happening, you know. Uh, so it's, in some ways, it's uh, unfortunate. In other ways, it's extremely fortunate not to be hampered by rituals. I've been, I was and continued to be influenced by many uh, Miles, of course, and um, John Coltrane and Wayne Shorter and just Art Blakey and Horace Silver and of course all the guitar players, Wes Montgomery, Johnny Smith, uh, Hank Garland, Joe Pass, many, Grant Green, George Benson. More with George as a friend, a competitive friend than, than as a, an influence musically. But uh, many, many guitarists. I was more interested in horn players than guitar players. There are times when I have the, uh, the opportunity to be in the presence of very strong individuals. Not necessarily musicians at that. Sometimes their presence is overwhelming in terms of their aura and their grace, a very spiritual experience. That in turn is reflected upon uh, by myself in a musical, in an artistic way, what I'm good at, as opposed to writing about them in print, in word, sometimes I find it more efficient to write about them in music, you see, using a different language for the same feelings that sometimes are more intricate in that, in that way. Uh, you know, when, when I think of tempo, and I think of dynamics. There are different, there are different uh, layers of emotions that are activated with, these, with, with that type of substance in the architecture of a song. I prefer ballads. If it were up to me, I would sing in slow dimension forever. The, the up-tempo allegro um, is, I, I enjoy that momentarily. And I say momentarily because it really ignites a great deal of aggression. And I've always sought the opposite of aggression in my life. I've always sought peace. So it brings up uh, dynamics subliminal dynamics that in many ways tells me a great deal of how much work I still have to do. Not on the playing, but on the source of where it comes from. The playing is very accurate. 